प्रीवियस है विमल कुमार इंडिया में सबसे पहला सवाल आप जब आए नया दौरा और बहुत सारे जो वर्ल्ड कप में हुआ जो एक कॉमन क्वेश्चन हर किसी के दिमाग में और इंडिया में चर्चा हो रही है फियरलेस ब्रांड ऑफ क्रिकेट इंडिया के पास इतने बैट्समैन हैं हमने उस तरह से बैटिंग नहीं की मेन टीम नहीं है मेन खिलाड़ी नहीं है आप आए हैं नए रस्तों के साथ इस टीम के साथ आपने बहुत टाइम बिताया है ऐसे में आपकी थॉट क्या आप कैसे इस टीम को न्यू डायरेक्शन में या क्या आपको स्पेसिफिक कुछ डायरेक्शन में है नहीं बिल्कुल नहीं आई थिंक टी ट्वेंटी क्रिकेट रिक्वायर्स टू प्ले विथ फ्रीडम लॉर्ड ऑफ फ्रीडम लॉर्ड ऑफ क्लैरिटी Uh, of thought you know and whatever time i've spent with this uh, players and watching him over the years also grow into wonderful international players i think that is their strength and especially in t20 format you require to play with that uh, freedom with that fearless attitude but at the same time it's important to assess the condition and the situation and play uh, and fulfill the needs of the team i think it's also important to be flexible but i think in t20 cricket you require to express yourself and that's when uh, you will be successful Uh, the way england has played t20 cricket especially in the world cup they they have an entirely different philosophy where from 1 to 11 everyone can bat and they from the very god go they they come at you so do you think the time has come that india or even subcontinental teams have been little conservative at time have come to emulate those that kind of approach i think uh, t20 cricket definitely uh, showed us over the years that the more number of multi dimensional players you have the better for the uh, team you know so you have bowlers who can bat you have batsmen who can bowl and i think that's the way forward it's already already been proven uh, in 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 t20 cricket that you know the more number of uh, bowlers who can bat you know will add depth to the batting and it allows a lot of freedom for the batsmen to go and express themselves i think that's the need of uh, the format and i'm sure that uh, uh, the more and more Uh, teams will try to you know get that into their uh, selection process uh, and identify players who are multi dimensional hi we are struggle here hi um you just come back from australia where the grounds are massive and um, you know it's getting used to the size of those grounds is, is something that the team needs to get used to now you come to new zealand where relatively smaller grounds how much of a i mean the batsmen will obviously love it but from a fielding and a bowling point of view what are the changes the team kind of needs to focus on to get perform at their best year yeah it's always a challenge you know when you play in uh, new zealand it always has been especially for the bowlers uh, and 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 the fielding unit you know it's not only about the small grounds but the dimensions of the ground you know if you see uh, here in wellington or in auckland it's it's not uh, I, i you know it's not a normal cricket ground so i think uh, the best part of international cricket is you have to adapt uh, to the conditions uh, and uh, you know to the situation you're playing in so i'm sure that the bowlers uh, uh, and and the fielding uh, unit you know will adapt to that uh, and based on the strengths and the weaknesses of the opposition team you definitely div- you know devise a strategy and you require to execute that to perfection but obviously it's always been a challenge you know playing in new zealand as far as the dimensions uh, of the grounds are concerned you also got an impeccable record um, as far as team india's coach is concerned <laughs> uh, so obviously what's been your kind of um, secret of 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 success What well i think we should not you know dive too much into that uh, results i think for me it's it's been an enjoyable ride so far Uh, when i joined nca it was all about contributing back to uh, indian cricket and this is an opportunity to spend time you know share my knowledge and experience with the youngsters and it's been quite fulfilling and what straight away struck to me in ireland is these youngsters are very very talented uh, but at the same time they always want to learn and improve and grow as cricketers and that for me is really exciting uh, because we've always told that there's a lot of bench a lot of quality in indian cricket Uh, and it's great working with these uh, youngsters and for me uh, the the thought process and the mindset of these uh, youngsters is something which is really exciting hi nara from news hub hi um, there's been a lot of talk about the busy schedule of international cricket and club cricket what's your view on that and what is your team doing to sort of are you soften that blow uh, i think uh, yes there's definitely uh, you know a lot of cricket being played there's no doubt about that and that's when you know india is very fortunate to have uh, you know so many players to choose from uh, and i think uh, as team management as selection committee uh, members you know you require to be very mindful of when to give uh, a certain player break you know breaks are important for a player to not only physically uh, get rejuvenated but also mentally you know and india is lucky to have that kind of a, 
uh, you know, a bench, that kind of a pool of players from where you can choose. Uh, and I think uh, going forward, I think that that will be uh, the case, you know. And I, I think that uh, especially white ball cricket, you require specialist players, you know. And I, I think that going forward, T20 will see a lot more T20 specialists. But managing their workload and at the same time, you know, choosing uh, players from the pool we have, I think it's a blessing Indian cricket has. Yes, um, a lot of talk about uh, some of your regulars not being here. Tell us why this India team is still strong and very powerful. Again, I think uh, uh, there are a lot of reasons. A lot of reasons. Yeah, one of the reasons is, especially in white ball cricket, uh, IPL has played a major part. Uh, the domestic structure, which is not so much talked about, uh, it's not only in uh, white ball cricket. If you see, India has got enough backup players, enough bench, even in red ball cricket. And I think because of the robust uh, domestic structure we have, whether you call Ranji Trophy, uh, you know, uh, in in 50 over we have Vijay Azari, we have Mustakal in T20 format, and then IPL is probably icing on the cake where the youngsters get an opportunity to spend time with some of the best cricketers, not only from India, but across the globe. And I think that will help them to fasten their uh, growth as cricketers. And I think that's the reason why India has got so many talented cricketers. And I think that the structure uh, and the process uh, which BCCI uh, has followed over the years, I think the robust structure is the reason why India has got a wonderful uh, pool of uh, talented players. Yes. Yeah, uh, hi, actually, yeah. Mm, what are your thoughts on Hardik Pandya as a captain? What are some of the characteristics that you see for him as a you know, future, probable, long-term captain as well? He's a fabulous leader. You know, we've seen what he has done uh, at at Gujarat. You know, in the IPL, someone taking uh, on the leadership role and in the first year itself, you know, winning the cup is not a, a mean achievement. But I've spent time with him from the Ireland series, and he's not only tactically good; he's very calm. Uh, on the field and that is something which is very important when you're playing uh, at the highest level because there will be situations where you will be under pressure and that's when as a leader you're required to be calm uh, but also his presence in the dressing room you know his work ethics is exemplary uh, and the way he leads the side both on and off the field uh, is fabulous and I think uh, he's, he's, a play, he's a player's captain uh, he's very approachable and, and all the players go and you know uh, confide uh, with him and you know I think that that's something which again something which I really like about Ardik as a captain and he leads by example both on and off the field. Just a quick one on Shubman Gill, uh, what kind of a role do you see for him in the team? Again, I mean uh, it's very clear that he's one of the most talented players India has got you know and in the opportunities he got so far uh, at the highest li level he showed what a class player he is you know and slowly uh, and gradually he's becoming a very consistent uh, performer you know he's a match winner uh, and he's got a great future ahead for him last three one yeah. last follow up on your coaching when you take up uh, well i don't see uh, uh, any challenges as such you know because uh, even when I was a player, you know, the more senior I became, the, the mindset was all about sharing my knowledge, sharing my experience uh, and making sure that I'm very honest, you know, with whatever conversations I have with the players. And it's the same even in this uh, role, even though it's a short stint, I think it's a great opportunity for me to share my uh, experiences with them and also, you know, uh, have those honest conversations because ultimately whoever represents for the country and whoever represents India, you know, should take pride in playing for the country, you know, and I think there's some things which are non-negotiable, you know, your work ethics, your preparation and, and the pride of playing for the country is a non-negotiable and that's something which I, I emphasize to all the players, you know, even though it's a short stint. Those are the messages uh, and the conversations I have with the players. Yes, sir. Uh, it is slightly off track. Uh, I was just reading a statement from Ian Botham in the morning that to save the game, we have to save test cricket, right? Otherwise, we lose the whole integrity uh, of the game, integrity of the game. So, how do you motivate these youngsters with so much of a delusion in 2020s and IPLs? I think there's no need to motivate, and that's that's for me, uh, you know, a, a, a quite a fulfilling experience because working with these youngsters. All of them want to perform at the highest level in, in red ball format. And that is great. That is great, you know, because, yes, there's so much of 
a T20 cricket, obviously the temptation of the glamour and adulation a, a player gets, rec recognition a player gets when they play T20 format. But when you talk to each and every individual, you know that they deep down want to be recognized as a good test player. So luckily, as far as the Indian cricketers are concerned, uh, I've never faced that kind of a problem where the players are a little apprehensive playing the longer version of the game and they're focusing too much on uh, T20 format. And here again, you know, I think uh, someone like a Virat Kohli, someone like a Rohit Sharma, the seniors uh, who are role models to these youngsters, when they give importance to test match cricket, automatically it goes without saying that the youngsters want to emulate them. And I think Indian cricket uh, and Indian cricketers give a lot of importance to test match cricket. Um, obviously, Martin Guptill won't be here in this series. Uh, I guess a lot of you players would have played against him, seen him play a lot. So when you've got someone new like Finn Allen in the team, how much extra research do you have to do? I think uh, analytics has played a major part uh, in the dev and it's 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 an evolving part of the game. You know, and when you have so much of uh, data available, you know, and uh, you can, you know, strategize for for a player with whom you've not played against. You know, so I think uh, it won't be any different, but it's all about executing the plans we have for each and every batsman. Uh, New Zealand cricket, again, is blessed with some exciting youngsters, you know, and Finn is one of the, uh, those youngsters. Uh, but I think uh, uh, analytics is something which we uh, give a lot of importance to. Getting the data and breaking the data and using the data is something which uh, we want to uh, continue to improve. Uh, and because of that, I think uh, we, we are in a good position where we strategize for each and every player, irrespective of whether we played with them uh, or we played against them. Final two questions, yeah, really, followed by them. Yeah, yes. uh, for me, New Zealand is probably the best place uh, I have ever visited in my playing career. Uh, very fond memories, uh, you know, and it's, it's a great uh, nation where they, they're passionate about this sport, you know, not only cricket, rugby. Uh, and, and a great place to be here, great place to be here and uh, as, a, as a cricketer, uh, some, some great memories, some great memories and some not so good memories also, uh, but let's not divulge into not so good memories which we had in 2002, but overall I think it's been quite memorable whenever I visited New Zealand as a cricketer. Uh, so here the top order will be new with you, so what is your regarding to it, or captains, or openers specifically, will you do different things? No, different things will not do different things, as I have already said that in T20 cricket, we need to do a lot of work in T20 cricket. And luckily, we have such a lot of work, which has the strength, which has the ability to express yourself, the ability to express yourself, the mindset and the mindset. तो यही संदेश मैंने और कैप्टन ने अपने बल्लेबाजों को दिया है कि जाकर निडर होकर बल्लेबाजी करिए लेकिन सिचुएशन के हिसाब से कंडीशंस के हिसाब से आपको आपके रणनीति को बनाना जरूरी है सो आई थिंक सब एक्सपीरियंस प्लेयर्स हैं हाँ हमारे रेगुलर ओपनर्स नहीं हैं हमारे रेगुलर टॉप ऑर्डर नहीं है विराट रोहित और के राहुल लेकिन जो जो प्लेयर्स का चयन हुआ है वो भी काफ़ी ज़्यादा अंतर्राष्ट्रीय क्रिकेट खेल चुके हैं और टी क्रिकेट खासकर खेल चुके हैं काफ़ी देखिए प्लेइंग इलेवन अब तक डिसाइड हुआ नहीं है तो कल आपको पता चलेगा लेकिन दोनों जो हम कुलचा बोलते हैं यू नो दे बिन मैच विनर्स फॉर फॉर इंडियन टीम एंड दोनों विकेट टेकिंग बोलर से और वही और उसी मानसिकता के साथ उनको गेंदबाजी करना पड़ेगा अगर हमें न्यूजीलैंड को न्यूजीलैंड में हराना है तो प्रस्तुति नहीं नोड़ी ऐशिया नेट सवर्ण न्यूज